Thanks to Urban Meyer, who was the biggest flop in NFL head coaching history. The 2021 season was a lost one for the Jacksonville Jaguars after having just three wins in a league versus point differential of minus 204. So the never ending rebuild starts once again. Let's dig into their futures odds for the 2022 season, and I will give you my best bet. First of all, if you're placing a futures bet this season, make sure you're using the Vegas Insider Futures comparison tool. Get the best bang for your buck over at VegasInsider.com. Okay, so for the Jaguars, their odds to win the Super Bowl, 130 to 1 to win the AFC, 65 to 1 to win the AFC South, 7 to 1. Actually, the third best odds in the division puts them ahead of the Houston Texans. Do not place any of those bets. Then we take a look at their over-under win total. It's at six and a half with the under juice to minus 130. So a quick overview on this team. Trevor Lawrence is a bit of a question mark, right? He looked like a sure thing coming into his rookie season, but that rookie season turned out to be very underwhelming. But to be fair, he's only in his second year. He does need time to grow. We need to give quarterbacks more time to develop in this league. And maybe we give him a little bit of a pass because of the whole Urban Meyer fiasco. And speaking of head coach, this team will see a pretty big upgrade at head coach with Doug Peterson stepping in to lead this team. However, Doug Peterson, Christian Kirk, who was their prized offseason acquisition and a questionable number one overall draft pick, do not make this team four wins better than they were last season. So my best bet for the Jags for 2022 is for them to go under six and a half wins. Sure, they could improve a little bit, but let's take a look at both sides of the football. Last season, the defense was god-awful. They were 28th in points allowed and 25th in yards per play allowed. So what's the best-case scenario here? They go from really bad to just kind of bad, best-case scenario. My biggest problem with this team, however, is on the offensive side of the football where they're failing their young quarterback and really hurting his progression by doing an awful job of building around him. So check out Pro Football Focus. They have this receiver group ranked at 28th going into the season, whereas the offensive line, they have them ranked at 26th. So after struggling last season, they're really not setting Trevor Lawrence up to succeed at all. Then you take a look at their schedule, and it's not really a cupcake schedule like you often see for team that finishes in last place. So, of course, they got the Texans twice, and they play Washington. They got the two New York teams and the Lions. But that right there, that's just six weak teams from last – six bad teams from last season. And, you know, what's going to happen there? They'll probably split those six games, and maybe there'll be an upset or two. But they still got to get to seven wins. I do not see that happening. So the bottom line with this team, sure – the potential is there, but it's going to take them a while to get there, and they need to do a better job of building around the guy who they desperately need to be their franchise quarterback. So the rebuild continues in Jacksonville. Give me under six and a half. My friends, I will have a best bet for every single team leading up to kickoff of the 2022 season. So make sure you keep it locked on the Vegas Insider YouTube page. Good luck out there. Woo!